bless you, and thank you for joining us. I'm Minister Billy Burton, and welcome to Sunday School Insights. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Minutes Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesiae Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us, and Sunday School Insights begins now. This week's lesson is entitled, Out of Egypt. Our scriptures are found in the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verses 29 through 42. Like it or not, Pharaoh was the decision maker for Egypt, king, ruler, and leadership. Choices made by those in control have an immediate and lasting effect on whoever falls under their guidance. Pharaoh means great house, so his title wasn't just about being king, it was about the whole government. This is why arrogance and being self-centered have no place in positions of power and great influence. It was midnight in Egypt and because of Pharaoh's mouth proclaiming death to the firstborn of the Hebrews, death instead was falling heavy on the firstborn of Egypt. The animals, livestock, pets, and the people, from the most privileged to those in the lowest positions of poverty, even those already in the pits of prison dungeons. Death was so thick until even Pharaoh cried out in agony. No one is too high and mighty for God to reach. Earlier, Pharaoh told Moses that he never wanted to see him again and threatened him with death. Now, here he was sending his closest servants to go get Moses and Aaron in the middle of the night. Pharaoh said, Grab your women and children, your animals and belongings, and get out of Egypt. The sooner the better, and bless me on your way out to go serve and worship your God. The Egyptians now believed that if the Hebrews stayed, that all Egyptians would die. The order and action happened quick, and we now see why God commanded them to be dressed and ready to move. God also gave the Hebrews favor in the sight of the Egyptians, which were so glad to see them go that they gave the Hebrews jewels, gold, and all manner of wealth to see them off. The Egyptians, however, did not give them food. The Hebrews took unleavened dough with them to make bread, but God knew that that wouldn't last. God had every intention of providing for them. They had come to see him as their protector and their waymaker. Now they would learn to know God as provider. The generations of Hebrews living in Egypt had lasted 430 years, and they had come into Egypt hungry but favored because of Joseph. They grew to be a great number of people, comfortable and living large in the best area. Now broken all the way down to being slaves under the new Pharaoh and abused for fear that they would rise up and take over. It was time for them to know the God of their forefathers. Often we come from rough beginnings 
And along the way, God gives us favor, and we begin to live well. We become so comfortable that we take it for granted and forget God until our good life is taken away. God has a million ways of humbling us and reminding us of just who he is. All while in the process, he never stops loving us. We ask that you follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come back and join us here again next week, God willing, for another lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music, You On My Mind, was composed and performed by J-Man at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.